Hello friends, it's Wendy Rule here and I thought I would take a few moments to chat about the upcoming Pisces Full Moon. I've just finished recording the Pisces Full Moon concert for my Patreon page, so I've dressed in my most oceanic and mermaidy outfit I could put together. Pisces is a water sign and it operates astrologically in the mutable modality. So in astrology, the mutable modality is energy that wants to change. We had our mutable earth for the dark moon a couple of weeks ago, Virgo, mutable earth, earth that wants to change and grow. And mutable water, well, water naturally is mutable. It naturally wants to change. It's a shape shifter. It can be steam or ice or liquid. Uh, it also will change according to the vessel that's holding it, whether that vessel is the shores of um, the ocean, whether it's a, a glass holding liquid that will just keep moving and changing. And a river is never the same from one moment to the next, nor an ocean, always shifting, always changing. So water and mutability seem to go together very well. So this Pisces energy is very watery, the wateriest of waters. And to me, Pisces is that energy of the great epic sea, the ocean that knows no boundary, that laps at so many different shores. And although we can put a political line and say, this is the edge of the Pacific Ocean, this is the edge of the Atlantic, this is the Indian Ocean, in reality, they're all merging and then symbolically, well, this merging is the merging of opening our hearts and recognizing that we are all one, that we share the one great heart of humanity. Jung talked about the collective unconscious and that we're all part of this one ocean, born of the one dream sea. And hence the same symbols turn up in mythology from all different cultures and in our dream worlds too. And Pisces is very much aligned with that energy of the dream, the literal dream that transcends the boundaries of the physical. In dreams we can fly, we can breathe underwater, we can be here or there, past, future, present. It takes away those limitations of what our physical form can do and allows us just to whew, be anywhere and anything. The Pisces energy helps us to shift our consciousness, to alter our consciousness. And one of the gods that I associate with the Pisces energy is the god Dionysus, the Greek god. I have him here on my altar in this little trinket I picked up in, in Greece where he's holding his sacred chalice of wine. He's the god of wine. Wine, when used wisely and not abused, um, can help alter our consciousness. It helps us flow. That Pisces energy of altered state, very, very connected in with this. And again, that can be a danger too, like the great crashing waves of the ocean, where it can just be too much, where we can lose ourselves in that altered state with substance abuse or um, loss of our, of our identity. So we've got to be really careful. We've got to balance this Piscean energy also with some grounded practicality and that Virgo dark moon two weeks ago will, will offer that. Dionysus has a band of followers called the Maenads. Often they're partying and joyful and drinking and sexual and everything's lovely until suddenly it's not and they go completely crazy. Legends have them ripping animals apart in the forests and they're out of control. And there is that sense you can't control the energies of, of that oceanic, deep, emotional passion. It's the, it's the sign of the poet as well. I love that um, I often think in the Pisces full moon of Lord Byron, the great romantic poet, and he has that poem, a section of it, that goes, I'll see how much I can remember. Roll on thou, deep and dark blue ocean, roll. 10,000 fleets sweep over thee in vain. Man marks the earth with ruin. His control stops with the shore. Upon thy watery plain, his wrecks are all thy deed. 
nor doth remain a shadow of his ravage, save his own, when for a moment, like a drop of rain, he sinks into thy depths with bubbling groan, without a grave, unknelled, uncoffined, and unknown. So there's this sense of like, we can't control the enormity of the ocean. We have to give in to that Pisces energy. We have to flow with it. And that's our job on this full moon, to open, open, open our hearts compassionately to the great collective and to, to let go, to, to have a drink of wine or a smoke or whatever is your favorite thing and just let go and say, you know what? Right now, I'm just gonna celebrate. Whatever, or, or meditate, or dance wildly, whatever it might be, but just say right now in honor of this moon, I'm just gonna let go and see what happens. Let the creative flow of the muses move through you. Uh, Poseidon, of course, is associated with, um, with the ocean in Greek mythology. He's the god of the ocean, also the god of earthquakes too. So again, there's that sense of like, wow, there's a great level of instability and great moodiness with this Piscean energy as well. The, um, the positive side comes out as poetry and um, compassion for others and a great big oceanic heart. The destructive side is more self-obsession and um, being swamped by your emotions and um, being consumed by your obsessions. I'm gonna sing this song. It is called Horses. I sang this for my uh, Patreon concert. If you're not already a patron, head over there if you like. Patreon.com forward slash Wendy Rule. Two bucks a month, you get a concert every month. It's nice. There's different levels too, the dark moon level and all that kind of thing. So this song to me, it's called Horses and I wrote this at the Southern Ocean when I was camping many years ago. Yearning for freedom, looked out at those waves and thought, yes, one day I'll fly over you like a great migrating bird, fly away from all this.
you celebrate it in a way that's truly joyful. May you connect in and with your dreams, literal and metaphorical, and um, embrace the great ocean of the human heart. Know that we all feel and we all love and we all grieve and we all share. I wish you happy full moon and may you never thirst in honour of Dionysus. And don't forget if you're not a patron, patreon.com forward slash Wendy Rule. Check out the Pisces full moon concert which will be up there shortly and there's already the Pisces information booklet for those on the 10 buck a month tier and if you are already a patron well you're just completely the best thank you okay lots of love bye